welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster. I'm CZ Spiver, and I've been hanging out at my Emerald Farm. And I've got a few things. For example, this trophy, which goes, hmm. Yeah, it's dropped randomly by the villagers. Uh, it's not like it's totally rare. I've got before in here. Oh yeah, nearly five stacks of emeralds. Nothing special. The inventory, ignore that. So that's one thing. And this is another drawbridge. Now we come out here, it's a double way drawbridge extending from both sides, which is very nice. Now I haven't hooked up buttons to the outside, but that's something I'll do in the future. Now let's show you how it works. Over here and over here we have a wireless receiver with alloy wire going into it. And then down, no, transmitter, sorry, not receiver. Here we have the receiver, which is sending power into a toggle latch, which is a T flip flop, which then switches between the two states into a red alloy wire. I then have a red alloy wire frame, which allows you to bridge the gap over to here. Then I have the red alloy wire running along all these drawbridges. Now, the red alloy wire frame is crafted like so. Four strips of your, uh, no, so eight strips of your choice plus a piece of red alloy wire. And the extended drawbridge, ridiculously expensive. A block of ardite, a block of cobalt, a block of redstone, and a block of, a block of drawbridge. No, a drawbridge. Yeah, ardite and cobalt, way too expensive. They're the things you find in the nether. But anywho, let's pack this thing back away. Ah, much neater. So, a few more things that have changed. If you look at my health, I have these yellowy orange hearts. Heart canister, which is crafted like so. A jeweled apple, which is four diamonds like so. Necronic bones dropped by wither skeletons. Miniature heart, which is randomly dropped by mobs. And an empty heart canister, which is either four aluminum or four tin and a bone. And over here, we have a resin energy cell, which is four ND ingots surrounding the redstone energy cell. Now, what are we going to be doing? Well, I'm going to have to go over the plans for the future so you understand why I'm doing things now. I want to create a quarry plus and an applied energistic system, but to do that, we need power. To do the power, we need the applied energistic system. So, I'm going to set them up very quickly in this episode and try and get them powering themselves. Now, where am I going to get this power from? Well, let now, me show you. this solution will come in the form of biopower. So, let me explain how I'm going to do it. First of all, I'm going to crush these apples into mulch and fruit juice. Why? I'll explain to you later. So, if we type in biomass and we click on the bucket and then we click on this squeeze a bit you create biomass by fermenting saplings or other things there's a load of different things you can ferment but I'm going to use for saplings because they're one of the highest giving sources of biomass now you can either use kelp mulch fertilizer or compost and as I said mulch because I get it from apples. Now apples also drop fruit juice, which I do believe increases the lifespan of your mulch. And I might as well use it because I'm getting mulch from the apples anyway. So then we ferment this. And then if we put this biomass into a still, we get ethanol, which will be our most powerful power source. Now this can be going, a biomass can go in a biogas reactor, whereas ethanol can go in a combustion engine or one of the dynamos, and I can't remember which one, and, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called, oh, one moment, and that is how you spell dynamo, don't know why I was struggling so much, now I believe it is the compression dynamo, yeah, requires f f liquid fuel and coolant or fluid fuel, whatever you want to call it. Same thing, just whatever you want to call it. So, I've already got the still, the fermenter, the squeezer set up. I've got some Tesseracs. I just need to craft this compression dynamo and then we should be good so to go. Here is some compression dynamos. Mm -hmm. 12. Now, let me explain why 12. Now, 
Each compression dynamo will produce 80 redstone flux per tick. Now, the top tier of cable can transport 1000 RF per twig. Per twig? Per tick. Oh, wait, no. 10,000? Oh, I can get a lot more, actually. Let me rethink. So, we're going to go with 26. Now, I've done some recalculations. I've gone over to the base and made some shapes. Well, not shapes, size measurements. So, what we're going to do? Well,. I'm also going to craft the applied energetic stuff mm. now so that I can quickly set it up. Now, applied energetics is a pain to craft everything. I'm going to go with the smallest thing first so that it can do the automization of auto crafting and then we'll upgrade it once we get the Quarry Plus set up. How's that for a plan? Now, when you're making these advanced processors and basic processors, mm. make the assembly and then use the Mimicrite whatever it's called, to double it. Two diamonds for one, in theory. So, let's get started with setting up the applied energistic system. Just gonna pop this hardened strong box down, which contains all my stuff. Now, what's special about a hardened strong box is that you can set it on multiplayer, where its main feature is intended, to owner only, and then no one else can access it. And you can also shift click to pick it up, and it retains its contents, as you saw before. But that's that, so we'll just move this and put it into a neat location for now. And I've made some steel tanks. So I've got fruit juice, biomass, and ethanol. So we have plenty to store up. So, first of all, let's get down our... I think we should start with actually the power. We'll get the power down, and then we'll get the... And um, what's it called? Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Okay. I'll, it'll come to me in a bit. So, first of all, let's get down this strong box and let's get out these. You, you, and you. So, I believe I set it up so it goes here. So, this should take 13. To here, I believe. If I don't click on them. And then if we put some of you here, along the top, so we get the power out. And then we also put some along the top here. Now I'm not sure how much power this will produce. Uh, I should have really calculated. 80 times 23. Um, that's a tough mental maths question. Let me just pop the calculator up and I'll That'll find be out. 1,840 RF per tick, which I believe is very powerful, and that looks like a lot of power. That just looks impressive. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Nah, actually we'll finish it off. Um, so now that we have that, I'm going to stick this hardened energy cell on the end. And I'm going to config this so we have blue there. So power, any power that is made in the compression dynamos, goes into here. Now we need to set up some water. Hmm. Let me think about this. If I run... Ooh, that might work. If I run... Let me grab my fluid ducts. I think I might actually need a bit more. Yeah, I will need more fluid ducts. But I'll show you the principle and then I'll get them all down. If we put fluid ducts along the bottom like so, and we'll pump the actual burning fluid. Ooh, actually, move these all up one. What the heck? Where is that wood gone? Right, I'll bump these all up and I'll have the ethanol get pumped along the bottom and above them, and I'll have the water pumped into the sides. And I'll fix whatever's caused this. Okay, I think the problem's getting worse with this wood. I just placed it back and it's got cleared. So, now we have the basis of it set up, although it's not symmetrical, so I may end up making more items just for the sake of symmetry. Because it really annoys me, but for now, it's just about the function. So, if you can see behind the mess of wires, you can see the aqueous accumulators and you can see the fluid ducts full of water filling up 
so we have that water in and I have clear glass here to stop that water flowing out everywhere so now that we have that I think it's time to set up the fuel processing and production hey we're producing biomass just got it quickly set up so next step will be to pump this biomass into the tank and then pump that out of the tank into the refine into the still sorry and then from the still to the ethanol into the ethanol tank and then to these engines so this power is pretty good and this mulch lasts for we have ethanol so I believe it's time to fire up the machine and see whether it'll produce enough power Just clicking my headset there if you heard anything so I've just been using makeshift power at the moment, just switching this resident energy and uh, whatever it's called. I can never pronounce it properly. Resident energy ender cell. Oh, wait, resident energy cell. Oh, that's easier. Right, so if we come along to. Let's just fire on half of it at the moment. So, ethanol out. Why aren't you receiving anything? You should be receiving something. Ethanol out. Have I not set it up right over here? Okay, this is a bit of a failure. But hey. Oh. Ethanol out. Aha. Sending. Sending only. So let's see whether we're... Oh. Do you know what might also help? If I stick this here and switch you to blue, actually. Switch you to blue like so. And we're producing power. We have half of the machine on, I believe. Yeah. I've turned you on as well. Just say you require a high en energy for now. Are we producing enough water is the question. I just wanted to see whether we're producing enough water. But... I believe we are. I may only have to go with half of this for now until I increase the size of this. I think I might have to put some more stills, some more fermenters, and I don't necessarily need more squeezers, but I think it'd be nice to keep the symmetry and all, just because it'd annoy me otherwise. So I might have to fill up the stills to right up to the edges and fill up the fermenter, put one more on on the fermenter and the squeezer maybe? I don't know, but now we are producing power and we're converting ethanol. I think we've just used like all our ethanol. Why aren't you burning? You should be burning. You're, oh, are you burning or are you, are you like real efficient? Yeah, they're, oh, they're just real efficient with it. Wow, that's pretty efficient. I didn't think it would last that long. So now, let's set up the applied energistics. Right, so here's the first thing I set up for the applied energistics. These are basic import buses. Now you have to think of it as the applied energistic network is the center. So you import into the applied energistics center. That's the confusing thing. I always thought it was the other way around when I first started messing around with the mod. So yeah. So you import into the system and you export out of the system. So over here I have export buses, precision, so I can export oak saplings and mulch. Now this should export into both slots hopefully. If I can get up there. So I have the mulch down here, I'll put the f f saplings up here. I'm running out of saplings. I brought over some scrap saplings, so to speak. Excess saplings from when I've had it on spruce mode and the big giant wood trees that I can't remember what the name is. So now down here, we're going to set it up. So first of all, we need the controller. I'm going to put you... Hmm. We're going to have a 5x5, so I think, put you there, we will then put the Emmy drive, the crafting table and the crafting monitor, um, terminal, 
monitor and we'll put this drive uh, one, two, here oh no I'll put it at the front here I'll get a second one to make it sy symmetrical and then we'll install the actual main thing um, pattern provider and we need one more thing or is it the crafting CPU this is the smallest one you can build just whilst to get started and get the power up and then get the quarry going and then we'll build the biggest one because if you watch from my other series on the Unleashed pack I built a 9x9 one of these it was very very expensive and we'll just build it like so if I can get out my inventory please thank you put you there you there so you need the heat vents on the outside containment walls like that you can see how it's going so we'll just put everything down and we'll just have a quick look at the recipes so CPU is a diamond circuit some glowstone and some iron the circuits as I showed you before the cheaty system with the mimic and like that the provider and I think I'm getting a bit of lag is a load of these conversion matrixes and another diamond processor the conversion matrix is a gold processor and that's got the same cheaty method then we've got the containment walls which is four gold and some certus quartz and some iron and the heat vent and I'm getting some major lag I can feel it yeah major lag if it'll let me is four iron bars an ME cable and some iron ME cable is fluix dust and glass fluix dust is redstone certus quartz and never quartz just grind up never quartz and if we put this here and we go into this this should say yeah say um, we'll put it into well it can go it doesn't matter what any mode it's in but this will show what power it's currently using I think I'd best go into MJ for now yeah that'd be the best thing so we're currently using 2.4 MJ which is nowhere near as much as we'll be producing yeah I'm getting major like let me restart the client right so things have changed around a bit now since me having that major like spike so back here we have two medium voltage solar arrays one behind the other funneling to the ME controller and then on top of the ME controller I have an energy cell which just basically increases this machine storage capacity rather than using a dead expensive MFE or MFSU or CESU ridiculous I'm currently holding 105,000 that's a lot of energy well I'm using 8.6 EU per tick and each one of these produces oh that's that's more than enough that's okay um so I've started adding some stuff and I've added these items to the ME crafting terminal well the storage of it which all should be on this disk drive so down here we have an ME pattern encoder we have a crafting monitor we have drives so in here I put a blank pattern now I want to know well make the system know how to make blank patterns so if you go into any eye or however you want know how to bring up a recipe and shift right click on the question mark whilst in an ME pattern encoder you can encode it like so so we'll come to this put it in here and if we go into here oh we can craft blank patterns and if we say begin and then we come over to our crafting monitor we will notice we have no glowstone because I haven't put any in so I can now auto craft blank patterns which is the first thing you probably want to go and teach your system how to auto craft so now that we have that we've got a lot of crafting ahead of us now if you want to cancel the crafting rest crafting you shift left click and it gets rid of it so now we're just going to shove in a load of items that I will eventually need because I know get in the system because you lot will always end up needing to be crafted with uh, we'll just uncompress that cobblestone for now I've not set up any deep storage or compressed storage we're just gonna stick it all in here voila and now if we request a blank pattern begin come into here we have one blank pattern 
which means we can start teaching the system how to craft everything we want. But unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's One episode. One more thing before we finish off, I'm just going to add a wireless access point, fill it up with range boosters, 16 it'll take at max, and then if we come over to this on the power fist, oh right, um, how do I link this up again? And then we will click, voila, I have access to all my ingredients in the Emmy system. So yeah, so, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Between this episode and next, I will connect up the power, no, not the power, um, this up to the stills, not stills, the fermenter and squeezer to auto extract the items in. I'll get the items away from the tree farm and then we'll see whether the system is stable enough to keep itself running. If not, I might have to add another tree farm, I might have to add more stills. I'll do some testing off screen and figure out. Now, if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Leave a comment if you've got any questions or you want to tell me something. Stay well and survive around.